This is Tom Duty, middle-aged American living in New Jersey near the Lincoln Tunnel. If you were to visit my website, you would type Howdy Duty into Google. You'll find the correct spelling of the famous puppet. You then combine Tom Duty in a Google search for my site. This is from Memories of Sena, author Christopher Hilton, published 2011. Jackie Stewart. Sir Jackie Stewart saw at first hand how bewildering different Sena could be from one set of circumstances to another. This is not only what Stewart saw, but how he saw it. I have two memories. The first one was after coming together of Ayrton and Alan Prost at the Japanese Grand Prix, which was the penultimate Grand Prix of 1990. And we were in Australia, ready for the final Grand Prix. I was still working for Channel 9, and I did an interview with Ayrton. He was very aggravated by my questions, to the extent that he nearly walked out and was so upset that he said he would never do another interview with me because I had probably probed a little further than the press corps had done about the move he had made on Alain. Ayrton had been very difficult to pin down from the interview in the first place and he cancelled it several times. Channel 9, who were, I think, the best sports television channel in the world, could not believe the sort of prima donna behavior of Santa. How they had to send crews to specific places to get the interview, never mind my own availability, only to have it cancelled and moved to another location. When I finally did the interview, he asked why it was, I asked why it was so difficult to find the time to do this, and he was obviously a major figure in news and sports coverage, and that Channel 9 was the host broadcaster. He was being slightly difficult about answering, and it came round to the fact that at the time, I think he had probably won about the same number of world championships as me or less. I said to him that I didn't think this type of behavior was absolutely necessary because he had suggested that in his position in the sport he could more or less pick and choose when and with whom he would conduct interviews. Of course, if he had been speaking to a journalist it might have been okay, but speaking to somebody who had been through the business fairly successfully it seemed slightly the wrong tack to take. It certainly created a rupture in any relationship that we had. The second memory is again in Australia after he had called me up on more than one occasion from Portugal and other places to ask my advice on safety issues and how he should go about trying to do something for safety. This was almost the first contact he had made with me since a difficult interview. He had obviously recognized that there was something that as the leader of the pack he could do which would be a significant benefit not only for himself, but for all concerned. He knew of my work in safety and wanted to work with me to try to achieve the goals for making Formula One safer. In Australia, he asked me to come up to his suite if that was possible in very open and genuine way, not wanting to put me in any trouble. He had an hour, we had an hour and a bit together talking about how I thought he should use his prominence in the sport for the betterment of all concerned. I judged that the authority he had gained by his number one position would carry an immense amount of weight as long as he went about his business in the correct fashion with integrity as well as passion over something which was going to be significant benefit. He was like a new man who suddenly saw the light that he could do something and in any position to really play hardball if people had gone against the safety movement he had firmly set on his mind. It's therefore ironic that Ayrton got killed in the first European race of 1994, which I was not attending, and in circumstances which have not yet been fully explained.
This has been Tom Duty, middle-aged American living in New Jersey near the Lincoln Tunnel. If you were to visit my website, you would type Howdy Duty into Google. You'll find the correct spelling of the famous puppet. You then combine Tom Duty in a Google search for my site. Thank you for listening. Have a good day, good evening, or restful night's sleep. Ciao.